What is self-disclosure? Self-disclosure is a revealing of oneself, not just the everyday what you are doing. Uh, many on Twitter like to put that they're cooking supper or they're cutting the grass or they're doing one of those things. That's not, that is self-disclosure, but not the kind we're talking about. Self-disclosure is taking something that we usually keep hidden, bringing it out into the open. That self-disclosure can be positive or it can be negative. We can look at it kind of like confession, but instead of the religious figurehead being on the other side, uh, it could be an acquaintance, it could be a friend, a family member, it could be a small group of people, a large group of people, even mass media. One negative example I think of in the mass, in the media, would be that of Charlie Sheen after he was fired from Two and a Half Men. He went on a tirade on one of the social media sites telling everyone, uh, what he felt about the show and what happened to him. Now, this was an example of negative self-disclosure, as the things he did and said were used against him. His reputation took a hit, and it took him a while to get back on his feet. It can also be positive. Self-disclosure can help reveal our inner self, help us to find qualities and attributes that maybe we were unaware of. For instance, our self-esteem could grow. From a personal experience, I know that my self-esteem has grown from self-disclosure. As a teenager, when my years should have been happiest, I was sad. I lived in a self-pity bubble. There was an incident when I was a young child, and I carried that incident around with me, and it stifled my potential. Later in my early 20s, I was able to self-disclose that incident. An enormous weight was lifted off my shoulders. But what I learned was that I was not a shy, uh, weak person like I thought I was. But I was a courageous, very strong person inside. Uh, through growing through that incident and uh, my life since, I've learned that I'm a confident leader, that I'm a compassionate boss, and my relationships with many have improved. The relationship with my family, my inner circle, those that I do self-disclose to, help me see that I can trust those that are closest to me and I can take the advice that they give me. We want to keep in mind when we're self-disclosing, the face-to-face -face type or if we're online or if we're talking to a large group. The setting makes a big difference in what we, what and how we self-disclose. We want to keep in mind that when we make and receive self-disclosure, we want to follow the guidelines that go with it, such as appropriateness. There are some things that are just not appropriate to share with others. The setting, whether it's face-to-face, -face, online, large group, things like that. The burdens that it may put on those that we share it with and the risks that are involved, the personal risks, professional risk, and our emotional risk in sharing these incidents or disclosing these facts. So we want to keep all that in mind, make sure that we self-disclose, and when we receive self-disclosure, uh, we keep it confident and uh, we do not use it against others. Thanks for watching.